All right. Christmas plans changed, so I got a little more time to work on this. Anyhow, so uh, we got the at least two heavy coats of it. The uh, uh, paint protective stuff, fire protective paint stuff on it. So I feel good enough to start adding electrical, basically. The inverter is going to go on this wall, and I just got to install it in here, basically. I might bring it in tonight, I don't know yet. And then, it measure out 8 inches, and I think I'm going to put my DC stuff here. And we're going to put the circuit board that I built last year on this wall, so we can control stuff. And we'll run a bolt all the way through it from the inside of the cab over here all the way through it and that will for one help stiffen this area up and we'll screw it down of course and stiffen it up even farther for two it will give us a place to mount our circuit boards to well, you may be asking why didn't i just leave it open so i get access to it uh more or less i want security over access to it on that but also gives me a little extra storage in here and just one thing to hang extra electrical cords or whatever else i want to hang in there yeah. I had to step down a layer already, it's getting hot. Hey, hey, my knees. Ooh, that one knee hurts kind of bad. Yeah, I went ahead and grabbed my Victron and Multiplus. Also, went ahead and grabbed this. This is my template. I had it in with the Multiplus for whatever reason. But I can set it up here and set the other one in the same spot and kind of get the the layup of it actually it's probably gonna go something like that but first things first I get the inverter it needs to have a spot a home in here the only thing is I need to be extra careful with it because it needs to stay a lot cleaner than the rest of it uh, good news the electric heaters keeping up with it which makes me think that all I really actually need is um, a radiator for the other, the liquid heater, the hydraulic heater, the hydronic heater, hydronic heater. Anyhow, we're going to install the 12 3000 multi plus 2 inverter, get it hooked up to the batteries, get it hooked up. I found the, uh, what was it? I found the charging uh, cart for the lithium, for these lithiums, the, the, all the voltages, so um, that was a, one of the bigger things I was waiting off on is finding the ad adequate charging area so I can charge it with the correct uh, voltage without killing my batteries. Also I found out that the lithiums, these, they can be discharged down to negative 20 or as high as 120 C negative 20c and 120c which is quite a bit actually um but they can't be charged unless you're at zero degrees c to uh 54 degrees c's i think it was i oh, know i have it written down somewhere but basically they can only be charged at room temperature that we like so freezing cold they can't be charged so i'm gonna have to either get the internal bms working on or uh have a something well the multi plus plus should cut out and yeah i probably could have made something but that's troubleshooting fabrication and programming which i still don't have a hold on programming and i'm still learning uh, maybe down the road i can do something but i need something sooner rather than later so we're going to try the multi plus and hopefully it will take care of most of the problems there we go our stuff is falling out I need to come in here and clean everything up. Actually, I misspoke. Uh, My conversion off from centimeters over to inches was quite a bit off. Initially, I thought it was four inches on either side, but I remember pre-measuring it and knowing that I had the room to do it in the pocket. And so, uh, I ended up cutting this section out for no apparent reason other than just, you know, bad math. That being said, it needs two inches on either side of the inverter to keep it safe, not four inches. Four inches altogether, but not two inches. So, I'm going to do some cutting. Unfortunately, hindsight, you know, it's 2020 and foresight is not. <laughs>
Well, I got it on there. I do not like how low to the floor it is and how close it is. It doesn't really give me much room to route any cables anywhere. So I think I'm going to re-drill it and put it a little bit higher up. been a little while since I've recorded. Uh, I am adding shelving right now and I'm still waiting for a fuse to show up so I can run the cables down here and get the inverter and get that back door closed out there. And once we get that done, I can put the lock in it too. And the lock really good. That's going to look really nice. It's kind of a big electrical cabinet, but it gives it enough air for everything to move air-wise. And I might add a little more storage in there, but until I get it ran, I'm not doing too much there. Uh, tonight, today, whatever time you're watching this, we're going to work over here and get that up and get this side of the cabinets done. So, I have this very nice shelf in here and it's slanted back that way. That way, uh, if I say anything on it, I'll have a, another piece that goes along here. But that way, I think it's this where I'm going to throw my purse, unless I find somewhere else. Mm, sorry. This call it the generalized catch-all spot, and it should stay in because it's still tilted and we're even at a heel right now. So hopefully get the ceiling up. That would be awesome, right? There's a lot of things that would be awesome to get done today, but we'll see what we can do. It is currently, I think it's 20 degrees outside. It's not 19. Uh, yesterday is 14. Tomorrow's supposed to be 68. Yay for 68. But we'll work out here until we get cold and then we're going to go in and say, huh, nah, really, we're not going out again. And, uh, yeah. So our goal right now is to reach January 6th. That's when the school year, or not January 6th, God. Sorry, pass. Uh, uh, January 21st. Is a start start of Schoolie Palooza. I'm gonna see how much I can get done. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get enough done to go get out there for that. We'll see. Um, that's me putting a hold on my doing some uh, general maintenance repair, other than an oil change and an air filter change. But the other stuff I could probably wait on. But that would be a working kitchen, maybe, or just a working electrical system with a shelving that I can just throw the kitchen in here. And a working bathroom, a place to lay down, a closet. The electrical has to be done before that. And uh, I can work with the rest of the stuff. I don't have to have done the living and a place to put my computer would be awesome. Um, and a workstation. So basically what that entails is having the rest of this area done and the rest of that area done over there. Getting that side done. And I'd like to have the water system hooked up, which... It's in there, it hasn't been tested because it's been too cold. And having a back area done in the air conditioner. In. I mean, I'm thinking about it, even if I work solid, I might get done soon enough. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do if I can get the closet done beforehand. And I gotta get over to my charge controller, so we'll see. The uh, other thing is, uh, this is. Still tolerable in here, even with the electric heater going when it's uh, 14 and 10 degrees outside Fahrenheit. So once I get the back wall insulated and the back door is insulated, this should actually be able to handle cold weather well. So it won't be so important to get down there as fast as I can because it's cold. But right now I'm using an electric heater. I got a heater core coming for my radiant heater. It's a project. It's a uh, new development, designing something, so it's not working perfectly. It is what it is. I just thought I'd be doing it in the summertime and the air conditioner would be in here and everything else, which that's a whole other project. Actually, it won't take long to do the air conditioner. There's a couple other little side projects that I want to get done before I'm out, so we'll see what it takes. But I want it done right before I go out, so we'll see. Or at least done enough that I can do everything on the road. Or while I'm out or at Schoolie Palooza or wherever it's going to be. But the little, this little heater here, this radiant oil heater is doing very well for what it is. 
Um, yeah. Yay. And I got some primer up. I got the rest of the ceiling primed, so I could probably start laying the foam in the top of that. And it's 88 inches and a quarter wide. A single sheet going to go up there. And we're going to create our little airspace, air gap we need to have up there and get the ceiling up. That would be awesome. Also. So there's lots going on. Lots getting done. We'll get there. Thank you. 